large groups of Chinese nationals seen here being processed by Border Patrol agents. Only our cameras were there. The majority of them, single adult men, hoping to cross the border in San Diego and leave the Chinese Communist government behind. Still, the wave of Chinese migrants is adding uh, to the stress already rippling throughout San Diego, which is considering a multi-million dollar vote today to help handle the increased crush of migrants flooding the area ever since September. Yeah, hey, Brian, we're seeing people from all over the world. Down here in Lukeville, Arizona, we're seeing people from Senegal. Where are you guys from? Morocco. Morocco. Okay, we got Morocco, we got Senegal, we've got people from Sudan. I've talked to them all. Now, here's the thing, Brian, the people from China, they're flying in directly to Ecuador because they don't need a special visa in order to do that. And News Nation has been able to obtain numbers exclusively showing that just about 10,000 Chinese nationals have crossed into the United States over the last two months. That's compared to 24,000 for the entire last year. So a sizable jump there. And we are seeing this influx in migrants all over the southern border. Meanwhile, just into Fox News now, NYPD making two more arrests, illegal immigrants and that attack on officers. Those suspects also allegedly stole an officer's cell phone. Well, that'll help them track you down. So a fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. He was seen, as you can see, giving his two middle fingers to the cameras moments after being released without bail. Florida Senator Marco Rubio wrote, message to America from one of the illegal immigrants who assaulted NYPD officers, walked free with no bail and heads back to a shelter funded by taxpayers. So far, police have uh, shared four mugshots of the now seven people arrested in connection with the brutal beatings in Times Square. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a story that was bound to happen in one of these liberal cities that have declared themselves sanctuary cities. And as a result, um, they are now taking on the illegal immigration crisis at the border. OK, as Texas Governor Greg Abbott has gotten smart about dealing with this issue and sending these illegal immigrants to uh, these sanctuary cities, cities like New York, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Boston, et cetera, these cities that claim that they want the illegals, okay? And we got to talk about a story that happened in New York City, okay, uh, involving uh, illegal immigrants who decided to assault a police officer in Times Square. After the police officer tried to break up what was disorderly conduct, okay? So the police officer's trying to break it up. Uh, these people clearly were not following orders from the police officer. Maybe they didn't understand uh, what the police officer saying. Okay, I have no clue, okay? I mean, these people don't really speak English, a lot of them, so I, I have no idea exactly how it went down. What we do know is that uh, as the officer was trying to arrest one of the illegal immigrants, they all decided to gang up on the police officer and to assault the officer. Okay. So five of them have been arrested and I believe that there are more on the loose, uh, but they were immediately released. Now, again, these are, uh, military age, young males, which in my opinion, uh, is one of the main things that people with common sense are concerned about when it comes to these people over here that claim that they're seeking asylum. Okay. Like, you know, ABC news tries to characterize, uh, these people, right, as asylum seekers, while you have Fox News <laughs> just, you know, pulling the full mask off here and saying illegal migrants. So the people with common sense, what we're concerned about is the fact that what happens when you have a ton of military age men coming into a country illegally and they don't have any means of employment or taking care of themselves or anything like that? Like, what are they going to do as a result? Okay, you don't really know that much about them. You don't really know where they're from. You don't know anything. They're just here. What is the result? Well, the result is, again, this story that we're talking about here today in which you had uh, a NYPD police officer get jumped by a group of illegal immigrants. And I want to react to um, the Democrats' reaction to this. Okay, this is uh, Governor... Um, uh, Hoko here, who is going to talk about this incident, but yet she is refusing to commit to deporting the illegals who 
jumped an NYPD police officer, right? I mean, like, if there's any reason why you should deport somebody outside of the fact that they broke the law, so they really should be deported just for breaking the law of coming into the country. But if they come into the country claiming that they're seeking asylum and then they jump NYPD police officers, like they assault a police officer, you would think that this would be a reason to say unambiguously that, hey, these people are going to be deported, right? We're going to send them back to where they came from. But uh, that's not what she's going to say. Let's uh, get into it. More controversy today for the Manhattan District Attorney's Office after several suspects accused of attacking police officer in Times Square were released without bail. CBS 2's Christina Fenn reports Governor Hochul is also criticizing the decision. As police continue searching for several suspects, they say attacked NYPD officers as they were trying to disperse a crowd near a migrant shelter in Times Square Saturday. Governor Kathy Hochul sounded off, upset to learn those charged so far were released without bail. It's wrong on all accounts. I'm looking to judges and prosecutors to do the right thing. In this video released by the NYPD, two cops are seen struggling with a man in yellow when a barrage of people take turns kicking and punching the lieutenant and officer and the head and body. Five of the suspects have already been arraigned and face charges of second degree assault and obstructing governmental administration. As to why the DA did not request bail for those men, a spokesperson said, violence against police officers is never acceptable. It is paramount that we conclusively identify each defendant and specify each participant's role in the incident. They're trying to figure out exactly who did what. And so they're being smart about making sure that they look at all the evidence. Wednesday night, police. Wow, incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible. So you have woke academics claiming that, whoa, they're just trying to be smart about what they're doing as a reason for releasing people who are here illegally after they just assaulted a police officer. It, it doesn't make sense, right? The smart thing to do would be to keep them jailed and to detain them until ICE comes and then they're deported. Because um, even if you're here seeking asylum, if you commit a crime while being here seeking asylum, right, that should be automatic deportation, right? You're, you're, you're not eligible to come here on asylum claims if you're already trying to come into this country uh, and you're committing crimes, like beating up police officers, right? You already are showing that you don't respect law enforcement you don't uh, respect the rule of law right this is what you're showing so that would have been a smart thing but again that's what these sanctuary cities is all about right they're all about releasing illegal immigrants um so that ice can't deport them right so they can't be deported again this should be automatic deportation okay it should have been automatic deportation just coming across the border legally but again if you're going to bring them in because they're seeking asylum which again by the way these are single military age men. I don't think that we should just be allowing single military age men to just come into the country because of asylum claims, right? I don't think that the bar should be super low for those people. But hey, the reality is, is that a lot of these people are trying to take advantage of the system. They're taking advantage of the fact that the Biden administration has too much leeway as an executive to allow these asylum seekers into the country okay and that's the, the problem that's the problem okay the executive branch has way too much authority and power when it comes to being able to decide who can and who can't come into the country under these claims and that is what really needs to be addressed okay that's what really needs to be addressed um and also border security as well too obviously we need to finish the wall put the military at the border just stop illegal immigration period because we've taken in so many people that we, we can't take in anymore right in fact we need a mass deportation operation and you would think that you would start with the people who are already over here committing crimes right that's who you would start with but you know again um democrats know that a lot of these people are taking advantage of the system and essentially uh Hochul is going to admit that Police arrested two more suspects, bringing the total number to seven. Five are still outstanding. The NYPD says many of the defendants were migrants staying at city shelters, ranging in age from 19 to 24 years old. Governor Hochul was asked if she felt those responsible for the attack should be deported. I think that's absolutely something that should be looked at. If someone wow. commits a crime against a police officer in the state of New York, um, and they're not, you know, they've not processed, they're not here legally. Boom. Boom, right? There you go. Out of a Democrat's mouth, they're admitting the truth. They're not here legally. 
This is what she just said. She just admitted it. She just admitted it. They're not here legally. She just, she'll tell you that. So again, when these people keep trying to tell you, oh no, they're here legally. They're asylum seekers. It's gaslighting, right? It's straight gaslighting. But the answer to that question should have been, yes, they should be deported, right? Yes, unequivocally, absolutely. Yeah, in fact, we're, we're in the process of having them deported now. We're going to detain them until ICE shows up and then they're out of here. Right? They're on a one-way trip back to, you know, wherever they came from. That should be the answer. That should be the answer. But it's not. What you have here is weakness. What you have here is weakness. She's afraid to call it like it is and to say what it is. That, hey, you know, they're not here legally. And then she's, oh, well, we're open to it. No, it's not It's not the time to be open to anything. And the answer to that question is, yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do. That's what a sane person would say. But, again, the Democrat Party's not saying it. Definitely worth Checking into. According Checking to police sources, it. one of the defendants in this case has two prior arrests for wow. shoplifting incidents where he allegedly fought with security personnel. Reporting from Times Square, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. So a history of violence. And guess what? And this is what you have here, right? There's so many issues in this story that are rooted in Democrat policy. So what you have is Democrat soft on border policies, okay, which allowed the uh, people to come into the country in the first place. New York City, at the very least for a long time, had their right to shelter policy, which is why they're forced to use taxpayer dollars to take care of them. The sanctuary city policy, which essentially is inviting uh, uh, illegals to come into the city and, and to stay and to seek sanctuary there from the feds, in which, you know, if they get arrested for a misdemeanor or, you know, committing some crime, um, then they have a policy of letting the, the illegal immigrant go before ICE can actually detain them, right? That that quite literally is what the sanctuary city policy is. So that's why they really don't want to deport them like that. And then you also have the soft on crime policies where um, they commit multiple crimes showing that, hey, these people have a pattern of violent behavior, but yet it's catch and release, right? You arrest them and then they're released the next day. And then now you got the so-called migrant asylum seeker, okay, not showing any gratitude or thankfulness for the fact that they're here in the country illegally. Um, they're on camera flipping off the reporters, right? Flipping off people after getting released. Showing you exactly what they think. F you. F you. I'm entitled to be here. I'm going to commit crimes. I'm going to attack police officers. I'm going to steal. I'm going to rob. And then they go back to taxpayer-funded shelters, right, to get your taxpayer-funded resources amazing and, and again this is what happens when you have weak feckless leadership when you got idiots like joe biden in the white house people like eric adams running new york city and hokel right this has democrat policies written all over it okay this whole story is nothing but democrat policies right i just outlined how democrat policies led to this situation right here Amazing, absolutely amazing stuff. These people have a complete disregard for the laws of this country, which is why again, they came in here illegally in the first place because they don't respect the law. Now you're seeing the consequences of having them here and the fact that they don't have jobs, they don't have a way to support themselves. And now what, what are they going to do as a result? What are they going to do? You, you just saw it, right? You just saw exactly what they're going to do. But hey, you know, this is a product of, you know, Democrat policies. This is what they wanted. And hey, this is something that unfortunately, in my opinion, I think is going to become the norm. It really is. Uh, you do have cities like uh, uh, New York City that are turning into uh, Caracas, right? This is what was happening straight up. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.